He's going to meet us down here. I told him you were coming. You better let me do all the talking in the... Pull the gun out of your pocket. Two fingers, put it on the ground. Knock it off. I know it's you. Now, gun, on the floor, nice and slow. I was uh, worried you might be too smart to fall for this. What's in the other pocket? Oh, this, it's just insurance. See, mine is made of plastic, so it's unaffected by the echo neck. You can see. And I'm afraid I have some more bad news for you. Your husband's dead. He died about the same time I was picking you up. As a matter of fact, his body is in the furnace behind you there, being reduced to a few pounds of ashes. I think it's very fitting that your lives together end in fire, don't you? I'm not going in there without a fight. That's very brave of you. But it won't be much of a fight. Or I will kill you. for a week. How about some breakfast first? Best way to start off our hibernation. Uh, you know what? Why don't we just order in? You don't have to cook. I love cooking for you. And I love when you cook for me. I'm going to go change. All right. Hey, Beckett. Mason had an incinerator in the basement. Why wouldn't he just dispose of Kayla's body? I told Mason that you would figure it out. Castle. But the old man wouldn't listen to me. So, Kayla, don't. Sorry, Rick. But I'm going to enjoy my retirement with you and the missus hunting me. Castle. You brief each other. Why, Castle? So I can be another one of your pump quests? Or I could be one of yours. It's nice to meet you, Castle. It's too bad. It would have been great. Give no idea. 